Hey everyone, we're going to take a look today at my camping backpack or survival pack or bug out bag or backpacking gear or however you want to phrase this stuff. It's pretty much all the same. Some are more than less. But the uh, first thing we're going to start off today would be the rucksack. Got a nice heavy duty Swiss military large assault backpack. backpack. Uh, I would classify this as a rucksack, not a backpack, but see how that goes. It's got uh, internal frames, thick straps, rides high, really good. It's the largest waterproof bag I've seen on the market. Pretty expensive. I got lucky, found this at a garage sale. Always got my pay speeds on there. Here's a large, heavy-duty woods, woods knife that a buddy of mine made for me. Really heavy-duty. You could probably use this thing as a hatchet. It's pretty thick. You can see that. Really great knife. That's it's always attached to my bag. The other side I always keep attached to it. It is a nice double bit hand axe. This is just a um, Timberwolf double bit hand axe. Really, really held up so far. I like it. Not too bad at all. Right here is a French aluminum canteen. I believe this is a quart, two quart and a half or two quart canteen. Pretty good size. Big, big old heavy aluminum canteen with canteen cup. That stays attached to my pack as well with its carrying case back here. This one I will have on my person. This is my USGI style aluminum canteen. Canteen cup stove. And canteen cup. And it all sits nice in this canteen pouch that fits onto my belt for me. That's not bad at all. All right, Coleman, Coleman E tool. Still got some dirt on it. Hope that's dirt. Yeah. Coleman E tool. Not too bad. Didn't feel like paying for a price of a military one. I think this was a couple bucks. Not bad at all. This one is a water filter straw. This comes in handy every once in a while. I really don't have to use it that often, so I keep mine. Tie-dye hiker water filter. There's the whole filter kit. The straw stores inside there with it. Keep those together. Continue on to my trauma kits. I got um cat tourniquet. Two Israeli bandages, large and medium. Two sets of quick clot gauze. Got a sand split. Oh, two sand splits and some medical tape. Always nice to have. Continue moving. Got a set of, I think these are brown nail, uh, no sorry, these are bush nail, 10 by 25 vinyls. Nice little case that goes with those. This is a no-name, probably about a $2 headlamp. It works fine for me. I don't see why you'd have to pay more for that. This stores in a little glasses bag, sunglasses pouch. I uh, keep a extra set of triple A's for it. See there. Uh, my lens added compass. Always need a good compass when I'm going out. This is my chainsaw, pocket chainsaw. The um, handles comes in handy. Works better than any handsaw I've ever used. And I stored in this little pouch right here. Alright, go to the UCO candle lantern. If you haven't used these, pick one up. They're awesome. Stores in this pouch right back here, this foam pouch. Three extra candles, reflection lens, and a glass of cloth that I wrap the lens in. So, a set of military leather gloves, actually. Didn't turn these in. <laughs> these are good heavy duty work gloves. Anybody that's used them knows what I'm talking about. So I have my moccasins, these are my cold water moccasins. You can use these as camp shoes or whatever you want. I prefer to use them when I'm tracking. I do a lot of tracking and stocking when I'm out. Better wear these in my boots. Here is a patch kit for my oh, this is a patch kit for my, my sleeping mat. I can use it for my sleeping pillow. We'll get to that next, don't worry. Move on, turn the camera. There's a bunch of compressed towels. These are pretty cool. They're about a foot by a foot. 
when they're uncompressed, keep those in the middle. Glasses case. Here is body wash sheets. Kind of like the Listerine style sheets, but each strip is a sheet of body wash soap. We have to my military mess kit. You know, you got the basics, you got the bowl, cutting board, small bowl, folding cup. I got a crap load of Esbit cubes in there. Don't really use these cubes for actual fire source when I'm cooking. I just use them as fire starters. They work out well for me. Military aluminum mess kit. Got the nice pan. Here's a spatula and spork combo. Comes in handy. An adjustable, adjustable measuring spoon. A lot of measurements on the back side. And a thermostat. This is my fold and barbecue pit. This is a grill grate. Barbecue folds out. Got legs. I like to have an enclosed fire and a surface where I can put my pan or my meat on. Works out nice for me. Everything stores in this nice little this is actually a dove bag, <laughs> bird bag, so stores in there. Not too bad. Continue moving. Go down to my fishing and sewing kit. There's a, I got three fishing goyos and a military fishing kit or a sewing kit. Keep all my needles and thread in there, the fishing hooks, weights, a lot of stuff stays in here. It stores in another, you guessed it, glasses case. Continue moving. Go down to, yeah, some people are going to laugh at this, my grappling hook. This is a really awesome heavy duty grappling hook. I've actually used this a couple of times. It works out. It's a fold out grappling hook, unscrews. So I end up in some places where I usually end up doing some free climbing. Sometimes I'm lazy and don't want to free climb. Just throw this up there, climb up, pull my rock up after me. This is my bed roll. Got a nice inflatable sleeping mat. There's also an inflatable pillow inside of there. And my tent stays tucked inside the center. It's just a one-man dome tent. Here's my survival harpoons. It's one, two, three. All come with cord already on them. They usually attach to bash it to any kind of pole or stick. I keep a four-sided file with me. Two wood, two metal sides. Use that to do a quick sharpening on my axe or my knives if I have to. Here's my fill dressing kit. Everybody knows how to use that, I'm sure, if you're watching this video. This is the knife that will be on my side when I'm out. This is this is the Schrade Old Timer Deer Slayer. Really good bushcraft knife. This is uh, Authentic Adventure Gear. Zero degree sleeping bag. It's not the best sleeping bag in the world. Zero degrees, it holds up. It works for me. I'm happy with it. Let's see if I missed anything. Let me step back. Quick look. Overview. I think I hit everything on the nose with this one. Sorry, it was kind of rushed. Trying to catch all of this stuff in one video. I will do individual videos for most of the stuff in here. Any suggestions on what you would like to see first? Any suggestions on my videos or my topics? Please let me know. Feel free to subscribe and comment. Let me know what y'all would like to see next. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.